three, two, one. Why was the seagull alone on Valentine's Day? It couldn't get a girlfriend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Outdoor Anthony with the American Bird Conservancy, and we're here in Corona Del Mar where the ocean meets the land and a beautiful ecosystem. Along with that ecosystem, the produce on your table is all thanks to a special animal. Do you know what it is? The seabird. Now you've probably seen some kind of coastal bird, whether it was by the beach or by any large body of water. Maybe it was a cormorant, a gull, a booby, yes, that is their name, a tern, albatross, or even penguins are in this category. Now even though every animal helps out in their local ecosystem, seabirds have a few special traits that affect us all across the globe but they all have to do mainly around, around their poop. Now that sounds silly, but the seabird diet is very special. It mostly consists of fish, squid, and crustaceans. And by eating these animals, seabirds transfer those ocean nutrients onto land through their uh, poop. But this poop, or guano we call it, contains extremely high amounts of phosphorus and nitrogen, more than any other animal on the planet. That means wherever these seabirds leave their guano, that area can become super fertilized with precious nutrients. What do you call a seagull that lives in the bay? What? A bagel. That, that's pretty good. Best joke of all today. Now their poop doesn't help just locally, but if they fly hundreds or even thousands of miles like many seabirds do, they actually deposit these nutrients on remote islands like the Galapagos Islands or, or Hawaii or Fiji. Also, they go across to other continents as well in a vast migration, which leads to nutrient dispersal across the entire planet. Why can no one see the seagull? Why? Because it was in disguise. <laughs> I think the bagel one is a lot better. <laughs> It's time for the history time. Imagine this, countries like the US, Spain, and Germany had a big problem. Populations were booming, but the food supply couldn't keep up because of depleted farm soil. Alas, I've used all my land's fertile nutrients. Ships from many countries heard of a secret sauce and traveled thousands of miles to the seabird colonies and rich guano beds of Peru's Chincha Islands to load up on the valuable fertilizer a useful resource harvested there since pre-Incan times. Those early days of guano mining were actually damaging to local communities and ecosystems in Peru, but that has led to lessons learned so guano can be harvested more sustainably. It was an important lesson to many countries that preserving seabird habitats was also beneficial for humanity. So if you like the food that's on your table, you can thank a seabird. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. We've already learned two awesome facts about our friends, the seabird. First, their existence helps both land and marine ecosystems by cycling essential nutrients. And second, seabirds of all kinds played a vital role in how we grow our food to this day. <laughs> cool. So we've learned why birds are important to the ecosystem, but what could we do at home to help? Well, there's three different things we can do. The first thing we've discovered is that 90% of all seabirds have some kind of plastic in their stomach, which comes from a lot of our trash, right? Isn't really awesome. So if we make sure that we're by the beach and by the coast, we dispose of that plastic and trash super properly, these birds are gonna live happy lives. The second thing we can do is when we're by the beaches, a lot of these ocean birds, as you can see off to my left-hand side, have a lot of holes and nice habitats for them to live in. However, we wanna share these areas. If we see areas that are awesome habitats for birds, we wanna stay away from those areas so the next population of little kiddos as happy as can be. And the third thing you can do is donate to organizations that help birds around the planet, like the American Bird Conservancy, who helps native birds across the planet and their habitats survive in this beautiful world. Well, I'm Outdoor Anthony, and until next time, go have your own adventure. If you'd like to learn more on how you can help our world's ocean birds, join us at the American Bird Conservancy's marine program linked in the description below. And thank you for caring about our ocean's birds and our beautiful planet.